This video is brought to you by Monster Insights. In this video, I'll walk you through how to clean up your media library, and I'll show you two different methods so you can keep everything nice and clean. Having images on your site are great visual cues for your readers. It helps break up long blocks of text, and it an image is just way easier to convey an idea to someone. But the way that WordPress does things, it creates several different versions of your one image, and it can get a little bulky and a little out of hand. So let's walk through the two methods that you can use. Let's dive in. The first method we'll use is by using a plugin. So let's head over to our plugins area. We'll go to add new. And the plugin that we're looking for is media cleaner. And once it's activated, then we can get started. You see that here. And now we can come over here to meow apps and under meow apps, we want to go to media cleaner. You want to make sure that all of this looks good. The default settings are fine. We want them to check if the media file is being used and posts or pages as well as the media library. All the default settings are pretty good. So let's just go ahead and click save changes. And now what we can do is go over to media, go to cleaner and you see all this scary stuff. Don't worry about that. You can just simply say start scan. And what we'll do is it goes out and finds any images that aren't attached to anything, any images that aren't associated with any of your posts or pages, and it'll bring back a list that you can look at. Now, if you have a really huge website with a lot of images, this might take a while. Otherwise, as you see, this is a smaller site, so we can click display the results and we'll see what it looks like. So these are the ones that are on our site, but aren't, they don't look like they're being used anywhere. They're simply on our site. You can do a few things here. Now that you know that these aren't attached to anything, if you see images that you'd want to put in a post somewhere, then maybe go into that post and add the image. Or you can go in and simply pick the ones that you definitely don't want and you're definitely not using. You can pick them all and de delete the ones that you want. Or you can go through and just select them all and delete all of them if you're not using any of them. You can also choose to ignore whatever it comes back with if you want as well. So that's one way that you can choose to clean up images on your site using the plugin. And then the next one is by using another plugin called the Media Deduper. So let's go back to our plugins area and we'll go to add new. In the search area, let's type in Media Deduper. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install. You'll also want to activate the plugin as well. You see here that in the first thing that we need to do is generate a media index. So let's go ahead and click generate media index and it'll go in, take us to their settings page here and we'll click generate. Again, if you have a really large site with a lot of images, this could take a minute, but for ours, we can just click manage duplicates now. And now we can go through and find the ones that we don't want and either delete them here. You can select them all and do bulk action. And we'll choose smart delete. And what that means is like the other plugin, it just makes sure that it does not delete any, any images that are being used on your site. So you definitely want to use the smart delete and then you can click apply. And then it'll go through and simply remove the images that aren't being used anywhere. Another plugin you can use to test out and make sure that your site is running and looking good is by using monster insights. Monster insights is the best analytics, Google analytics plugin on the market. It gives you an overview report of how your site is doing right from your dashboard. With Monster Insights, you can see your page views, sessions, time on page, scroll depth, and things like that. Monster Insights also makes it super simple and easy to connect your website with Google Analytics and add things like Event Tracker, as well as knowing which your affiliate links are and how they are doing. To get started, just head over to monsterinsights.com and use promo code WPBVIP to get the best discount on Monster Insights. And thanks for watching.